Hey, right, whoa, what's good, man? My name is Flim Low Raps. Want to welcome y'all back to this week and last chance you. In this week's episode, we got a lot of firsts, including one huge first. I'm talking about a life changing first. But before we get there, if this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that little bell to enable your notifications. Clicking the little bell is honestly the only real way to subscribe. So make sure you're making that happen. Also, don't forget to click the thumbs up button as that helps the channel to continue to grow. In this video, we got news on Bobby Bruce, JF3, Carlos Thompson, Ronald Ali, and more. Without further ado, Y'all know what time it is. This week in Last Chance You, Chew the Way. Bobby Bruce is a dad. First off, congrats to Bobby and the missus, bro. They posted this on Twitter a few days back, and Bobby seems legitimately happy in this clip, which is something we didn't see a ton of in season three of the show and having your first kid can definitely do that for you now the caption reads it's a boy so it looks like my guy got a young bobby on his hands one thing about having kids is this they focus you and they put things in perspective very very quick bobby's a good dude with a good heart and i know he'll do the right thing to take care of his son keep maturing bro and congrats once again Carlos Thompson caught his first touchdown pass at Missouri Western, showing off the wheels and leaving this dude in the dust. The defense decides to get cocky. They went man coverage with no safety help. And this is what happens, bro. Okay, this is what happens, all right? Lowe's had two catches for 91 yards and a 74 yard touchdown. The dude is a playmaker. He's always gonna eat, bro. That's facts. Ronald Ali picked up a sack and a tackle for loss this past week in a nickel state victory. Ali's been constantly applying pressure and playing well and doing his thing at nickel state. Rakeem Boyd went over 100 all-purpose yards versus Auburn, picking up 66 yards on the ground on only 8 carries and catching 2 passes for 39 yards, so basically he ate. There's three very important things to remember. One, Rakeem's not touching the ball a ton. I mean, 66 yards on only eight carries is extremely efficient. Also, he's only a sophomore and he's got two more years after this, so I think they're just warming him up to be that bell cow back. And the last thing that you need to remember and possibly the most important, he did not play in that beatdown versus North Texas, all right? I was out of town when that was happening, but yeah, it's pretty funny that that's how my North Texas team performed over on Twitch during our live stream. Now, obviously, Rakeem doesn't play defense, but I did just want to point out that he didn't play at all in that game, or he didn't get any carries at least. Now, Kerry Buckmaster's grandmother started a GoFundMe to help him get back into school. Apparently, things didn't work out at the school he attended after season three, and Kerry, who has a pretty tumultuous family history, had a few more family issues, and one thing led to another, he's no longer enrolled at that school. Well, Kerry was offered a scholarship from a school in Texas, but he had no way to get from Tennessee to there. So his grandmother created a GoFundMe saying that he needed gas money and some bread to get settled. Now she said that anything would help, but you do have to set a goal on the GoFundMe site. They set a goal of $500. Bro, when I tell you, this thing hit $765 in one day. He got 26 people to donate and they exceeded the goal in one day. So there's obviously a ton of love out here for Kerry. VJ Miller has been eating at EMCC. I wasn't too sure about his move back to football, but man, after only having 80 yards passing in the first game because he came in late, since then, dude's been going off. Throwing for 751 yards, eight TDs, and only two picks in the last three games. He also won Offensive Player of the Week a couple weeks back. Now check this out. You can tell by the numbers that he's getting more and more comfortable as time goes his completion percentage has literally gone up every single week yo my man is shredding defenses over there all right now when you add in his 162 yards on the ground and four more touchdowns dude is having a season don't sleep on vj keep going bro all right man our last story of the day john franklin the third is launching a website and a clothing line soon 
I honestly always figured he might go this route after football, and this doesn't necessarily mean that he's done with football, but he's starting a business and that's what's up. I think too many times football players are one dimensional and they don't look to branch out and take a shot. In today's digital age, it's pretty easy to get started. Doesn't mean that you're gonna have success, but I think it's a smart move. It's something that he's clearly passionate about and why not use the momentum he has to go ahead and get this going right now instead of waiting until it's too late. So huge shout out to JF3. Also, it was dude's G-Day a few days back, so happy belated. All right, so we had a pretty short episode today, man. And my Bengals, we took an L, bro. We took an L to Carolina. I was angrily laying on this floor right here. Even my lucky Bengals sign couldn't save us, man. But it's all good. We're going to shake back once Joe Mixon come back. We'll be good. Anyway, bro, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, do not forget, man. Click the thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. And enable your notifications so that you don't miss any videos. My name is Flimlo Raps. This was This Week in Last Year's You. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. One.